Hi everyone, today we will look at two ways to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11, and then install it on a PC or laptop. The first method is using Microsoft's official media creation tool. The second method involves downloading a Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft's website and creating a bootable USB using a free tool called Rufus. Rufus offers several useful features, it allows you to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, skip the Microsoft account setup, and more. Method number 1. Connect a USB flash drive with a capacity of at least 8GB, I have already connected it. Now, open your browser and type download Windows 11 in the search bar. Or open the video description, and follow the link to the Windows 11 download page. On the site, you'll find information about the system requirements and installation options. Click on the link to download the media creation tool. Once the file is downloaded, close your browser. Open the downloads folder in File Explorer, and double-click the setup file to launch it. Accept the license terms and click Accept. In this window, you can uncheck the box to choose a different language version of Windows 11. I'm leaving it set to English. Click Next. Now select USB flash drive as the media to use. Click Next and the tool will begin downloading and creating the bootable drive. Once the process is complete, Let's take a quick look at the USB contents. Everything we need is there, now, this USB drive is ready to install Windows 11 on your computer. Method number 2. At the beginning, this method is almost identical to the first one. We still need to download the media creation tool from Microsoft's website, launch it, and go through the initial steps. But here's the key difference, this time, instead of choosing to create a USB drive, we select the option to download the ISO file. I'm saving the ISO file to my desktop, but you can choose any location you prefer. Once the ISO file finishes downloading, plug in your USB flash drive. Then open the video description, and follow the link to the Rufus app download page. After that, you can close the browser. Open your downloads folder, and double-click the Rufus icon to launch the app. At the top, you'll see your USB drive selected automatically. Click on Select, and choose the Windows 11 ISO file you just downloaded. Now, among the available settings, the one we're most interested in is Partition Scheme, either GPT or MBR. This is important because it needs to match your system's drive setup, but if you're not sure which one to choose, here's how to check. Right-click the Start button, and choose Disk Management. Then right-click on your system disk, and select Properties. Open the Volumes tab, and here you'll see if your disk is using GPT or MBR. In my case, it says GPT. So, back in Rufus, I'll make sure to select GPT as well. Now click Start. A new window will appear with some very useful options from Rufus. The first option removes the hardware requirements, so you can install Windows 11 on older, unsupported PCs. The second option lets you skip the Microsoft account setup during installation. The third one allows you to create a local account, and you can even set the username right here. Choose the options you need, just tick the boxes, and Rufus will handle the rest for you. Click OK. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB drive will be erased. That's fine, 
click OK to continue. Now the bootable USB creation process begins. Once it's done, let's check the contents of the flash drive. Yes, everything is in place, and we're ready to install Windows 11. Before you start the installation, though, I strongly recommend backing up your files and saving them to another drive. Okay, now we're ready to reboot the PC and enter the boot menu to start the Windows 11 installation. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be EB, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press enter. The Windows Setup screen will open. I'm not changing anything here, just clicking Next. To agree to delete all files, you need to check the box. Next. Here, you'll be asked to enter a product key, but I don't need to enter one, my copy of Windows 11 Pro will activate automatically later. So, I'm clicking I don't have a product key. If your previous system was Windows 10 Home, choose Windows 11 Home. If it was Windows 10 Pro, then select Windows 11 Pro. That way, your Microsoft license will be preserved. I'm selecting Windows 11 Pro and clicking Next. Accept the license terms. Now we see a list of all the drives and partitions connected to the computer. In my case, disk 0 is 232 GB, that's the one with my old Windows 10 installation, along with three smaller system partitions. If you see another disk where you store your personal files, do not touch it. To properly install Windows 11, you need to click on each partition from the old Windows 10 installation, and click Delete. Once all the old partitions are removed, you'll see unallocated space, select it, and click Next. The PC is ready to install Windows 11. Click Install, and from here, we just wait. The process will take some time, the system will restart several times automatically, that's completely normal. Please don't turn off your computer during this stage. Okay, Windows 11 files have been installed, and now it's time to finish setting things up. First, choose your region and click, Yes. Then select your keyboard layout again, click Yes. On the next screen, click Skip to skip adding a second layout. Thanks to Rufus, the setup process is much faster, and here we are, greeted by the brand new Windows 11. We're almost done. Yes, I did it. And now I have a fresh installation of Windows 11 on my PC. I hope everything went smoothly for you too. Let's open settings. Then go to system. Now open the activation tab. Yes, Windows 11 was automatically activated using my digital license. Next, I'll check the account section. As you can see, I'm signed in with a local account, but if you'd like to use a Microsoft account, just click sign in, and follow the on-screen instructions. I really hope you found this video helpful and if so please share it with your friend. Leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.